Hello, this is review of Samsung PS64 F8500. This is Samsung flagship plasma model for 2013. TV has a bezel made of a titan black brushed aluminium, which makes it look solid and elegant. It comes as well with a metal curved stand. It's very controversial. It requires wide and deep TV stand and might not be the most attractive for some people. Samsung has implemented an anti-reflective filter that screens light coming from the ceiling and also from the floor. It reduces reflections and it helps to maintain color intensity in a bright light view environment. But it also means that you have to sit pretty much at the level with TV. Because if you stand up, the picture will become darker and if you lie down on the floor, again it appears darker. But I don't think so, it's the issue and most importantly, horizontal, horizontal viewing positions are perfect. f 8500 comes with two remote controls. One normal one, another with touchpad and microphone to use voice commands. All are small and practical, but I personally use normal one because it provides access to screen settings and it's small and handy. Current models comes with the latest Samsung Smart Platform. It is equipped with 4 core CPU and thanks to that TV menu is fast and smooth. Smart Platforms comes with a voice and gesture recognition. It is however not much practical and does not work correctly most of the time, so I suggest to turn it off. TV has a built-in camera for Skype and gesture recognition. Video quality is in SD resolution and quality is good enough but nothing than that. This is a 3D model and comes with two pairs of RF glasses. They are battery operated, very light and bears a very lean tint to the lenses, which means that the images in 3D appear more accurate and brighter. Main issues with them is the lack of any sides to the frames which means they couldn't block any ambient light. Samsung F8500 can actually output a higher brightness than most other plasma TVs, including Panasonic's plasma TVs such as Panasonic P365. The higher brightness helps reduce color washout during daytime and makes F8500 a better fit for brightly lit living rooms. This is not as bright as LED models, but it is getting closer. F8500 can maintain an impressive level of brightness, even while showing black in the same scene. This was also true when it came to the shadows. Not only could the F8500 maintain detail in the dark scenes, but it also delivers shadow details when the other part of the image were very bright. This resulted in a truly immersive dynamic range that delivered an excellent contrast ratio of around 8000 to 1. Color performance on Samsung's model is impressive as well and on a pair with a Panasonic's plasma TVs. The detail level is high and HD picture quality is especially impressive on a 64 inches version here. The motion handling on the F8500 was quite superb. I saw no significant blurring on a fast motion, except for blurring introduced during the movie production. Samsung F8500 is not rotation free, but I did not find much to worry about especially after first 100 hours, where image rotation is minimal and disappears pretty quickly. When it comes to 3D, the increased brightness of a Samsung Super Contrast panel really pays off, delivering some of the brightness 3D images that I have seen including LED TVs. The combination of a brighter panel and the minimal tint of the glasses resulted in a 3D images that had plenty of impact 
and the large screen size really added to the overall sense of immersion. The faster response time of a plasma panel means there was absolutely no crosstalk. However, that screen has a two major issues with the 3D images. Plasma TVs has always used pixel differing to reproduce some colors, and with 3D it becomes more apparent. The fact right now is just that you have to sit relatively far away from your f 8500 TV to fully enjoy 3D, which is a little letdown. The second issue are brightness pop-ups, which occurs during panning from a bright scene to darker ones. However, with the latest software updates, issue is limited to minimum. Measured input lag is around 16 milliseconds, which makes gaming comfortable for casual gamers, but maybe not for professional ones. Motion handling is superb, delivering crispy clear images without blurring, and the image rotation is minimal as well.